again, welcome back to X Amelia X. So today we're going to be talking about my favourite products from the month of July because it is now August and this is what we do every month. So all of them are beauty related this month. Um, I've kind of discovered a few new products, a few new releases and a few old ones that I have just been loving even more lately. So keep watching if you want to find out what they are. I'm going to start off with a product that I did a um, speed review on the other day, so if you want to go and watch that, that will be somewhere on my channel lurking around. It's a brand new product, it's not out yet, um, and it's from Kiehl's. It's their Daily Reviving Concentrate. Now, you will have seen the Midnight Recovery Concentrate in a lot of my favourite videos before. That's like an, the blue bottle nighttime oil. I love it, my skin loves it, and I have really problem skin, but I get on like a house on fire with that. It's a really weird phrase. Hmm. Um, but I absolutely love this. Um, this popped through my door about three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago, and I have not stopped using it since. As you can see, it is going down um, every day in the morning underneath your makeup, and it just makes your skin look incredible. It makes everything go on so much smoother, makeup lasts all day and um, my skin has never looked clearer and better since I've been using this and the midnight recovery at night time as well. Cannot rave about it enough, it smells like ginger, it's got ginger root, sunflower oil, uh, sunflower and tamanu oils and ginger root um, and it just really gives you sort of a plump, bright, beautiful looking skin and um, it's just fabulous so I will leave the details to my speed review down there I'm also going to be writing up a blog review next week um, so keep your eyes peeled for that one on xameliarex.com and you can get yourself on the waiting list because it comes out in September I believe but it's amazing can't rave about it enough Wah, love it Second is a silly product that I've had for ages from Barry M actually I bought a new one the other day um, because after about two years of use my other one stopped working um, and it's basically this nail paint corrector pen now I haven't got anything on my nails at the moment I'm just about to go and paint them um, but because I am now full time um, I've got my evenings and weekends back which is really exciting uh, which means I've picked up nail art again because I used to do a lot of nail art I loved it but then didn't have the time but now I have the time um, so this is absolutely fantastic for painting your nails, nail art, whatever you want to do even if you're just painting them one colour sometimes you can go over the edges and it's basically an eraser pen. Nothing special about it, but it's just brilliant and it works so well. And honestly, my last one lasted about two years of use every single time I painted my nails. It's got spare little sponges, so obviously they get discoloured so you can swap them over. Um, and it's just absolutely fantastic. I think it is about five pounds. Um, but it's so worth it, so so worth it, even if you just use it around the cuticles to get that really crisp um, line. I love it, and it's acetone free, so it doesn't ruin your cuticles either. Um, it's just brilliant, really simple, but I've been absolutely loving this again. Definitely head down to Boots or Superdrug and pick one of these up. Next is a body scrub um, from Frank. Now, um, it doesn't come in this jar, I've put it in this jar because it comes in like um, a plasticky, papery bag which really looks cute and it's great for the environment, well done Frank, um, but it's a nightmare to use because I've just got to think about wet paper, I hate wet paper and old stickers, Ugh, they just make me feel sick. So trying to use like paper bag with this in it with wet hands was just, ugh, 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 no I couldn't do it, couldn't do it. So I bought this little jar from Ikea and I put it in there. Basically it's a coffee body scrub. And oh my god, it smells amazing. The one I've got is like chocolate orange, I think. <sighs> ah! <laughs> it's chocolate orange and coffee and it just smells like a Terry's chocolate orange and a fresh cup of coffee. And it's just, it's the best thing ever. And it looks like mud when you use it and it makes a mess of your shower. <laughs> um, but it's a really, really good body scrub and I've been using this in the mornings um, just to kind of wake myself up and keep my skin looking great because I use a lot of fake tan at the moment um, because it's summertime. Uh, not that you would know looking out the window. <laughs> um, and it's really good to be able to scrub your skin before you use fake tan. So um, I use this. I love, 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 still love my Neom one. Uh, but I rave about that enough, so I thought I would try a different one and change it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I really love this. I think you can get them online. I don't know where else you can buy Frank products from. Uh, this is the only thing I've got from them. Um, but I love it. It's really, really good and it smells incredible. Speaking of fake tan, um, San Moritz have released a fast developing tan. I don't know, I feel like I've talked to you about this before, I can't remember, um, but I've just it's all I've been using recently. It's great, you put it on um, and it takes three hours to develop. I really do feel like I put this in my last favourites video. Did I? 
Am I going mad? Okay. Um, but I do really love it. Um, and I've been literally using this every single week. It's fantastic. It's so cheap. Best one out there. And this is wet because I used it last night. Um, but Joe. I've been using like a really cheap fake tan mitt, I think it was from Primark, and they're great because you could just use them and then chuck them away because they're like a pound, um, but it just it just wasn't doing it for me and it was leaving my hands like bright orange and I always get Joe to fake tan my back, uh, <laughs> he does it for him, bless it, he's, he's really good, he does it, um, but he always gets orange hands as well and that makes him very angry. So I think the reason why he bought me this is so he could save his own hands but he bought me this mitt which is still wet because I used it and it's a bit soggy. Um, but it's called the Ultimate. How amazing is that? Love the name anyway. Um, but it's got a completely like waterproof plasticky lining so you don't get any nasty orange bits on your hands and it is so smooth. Like when I got it, oh and it comes with a little face one as well. <laughs> so you just you can use that for your face amazing really shouldn't have intrigued me and excited me as much as it did but it did there you go maybe i need to get out more um but i think this was about a tenner he said uh and do you know what when i got it i was like this is a really weird present but thanks um and i thought okay well it's just just a mitt isn't it it's just a fake tan mitt when i used it Oh my god, this is honestly like the best fake tan mitt in the world. It's so smooth and it just goes on wonderfully. And I use it with this, with the mousse, um, and the normal mousse as well, not always the fast drying one. And it's just absolutely brilliant. So if you're a serial fake tanner, or if you, you know, you like a bit of colour every now and again, um, get pick yourself up an ultimate. I think you got it off Amazon, because seriously, it's the best fake tan mitt I've ever used. You can sod your one pound Primark ones. The ultimate is the only mitt I will use from now on. Um, but no, seriously, it's really good. <laughs> and last but not least is a product from Jerlique. Um, I absolutely love Jerlique. They do a wonderful face powder, which is like my favourite face powder ever. It's basically like Photoshop in real life. Uh, and then they also do a rose water facial mist, which helps set your makeup and then it also helps refresh your makeup if you spray it on throughout the day. Now I always had one in my office drawer, I had a little mini one, um, because I find that the aircon in offices really dries out my skin. And because it is getting a bit warmer now, trust me, it will be, it will be. Um, it's really refreshing to just like kind of spritz your face throughout the day. Um, but the other day they sent me through their brand new one which I think is limited edition um, and it's called Bloom. So every year they bring out a limited edition one. I've still got like the big one that they sent me last year that's in the bathroom. Um, yeah, Deluxe Edition 4, Limited Edition Rose Water Balancing Mist. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it doesn't tell you exactly why. They're normally just a little bit um, stronger smelling. But they smell like Turkish Delight, they smell like roses and they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and yeah. I really really love this so this one has been on my makeup counter and I've been just using it every morning every time I finish my makeup just spritz it on and it kind of brings the dewiness back if you've used a bit of powder and it also helps set your makeup and it, my skin loves it because it's rose water which really helps take down any redness and also I think the limited edition ones um, they when you buy them some money goes to the charity that they've got which is which is called ideas of beauty I think because I was involved in a campaign with them last year um, and they do wonderful things with their charity but um, if you are going to get one of the rose waters because you can get like the normal rose water mist try and get the deluxe edition because a it's got an ombre pink bottle which is adorable and b some of the profits if not all of the profits i can't remember go to charity um so it's a really good idea but it's a great product um and i really love it and like i said i still carry my little one that was in my desk now in my handbag um because it's just really good for the summer and i'll be taking it on holiday with me as well just to refresh by the pool so there we go, that is it. I told you it was going to be short and sweet. They are my uh, July favourites from the month of July, obviously. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of exciting content coming your way. Just filmed a really good video actually um, for next week, which is exciting. So make sure you subscribe so you're going to see all those. Um, and I just wanted to say a really quick thank you to all of your, um, for all of your lovely comments uh, and tweets and Instagram comments and Facebook comments and everything on my big exciting news um, that I announced the other week. So thank you so much. Um, it's been it's been wonderful and yeah, we're getting there. I'm trying to find my feet at the moment in my brand new routine, but um, 
give me two weeks, I think I'll be on it. <laughs> so don't forget to give this video a giant thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you've found one that you particularly love loads during July, let me know. And of course, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe uh, for lots more videos coming your way very, very soon. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye. And of course, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>